on. It's James, the wine guy, right now, James, Ethiopian coffee guy. Here we go with this beautiful coffee, four barrel. Have featured many of their coffees before. Hunda Oli, uh, Ethiopian coffee, heirloom varieties. You can see that this is um, roasted on February 18, 2014. Uh, it's a very, sorry about the bag, it is uh, something that gets crunched up. And if I put this in my uh, messenger bag, it tends to get crunched up, but uh, the contents inside are quite phenomenal. Ethiopian coffees to me give a really great provenance of this uh, birthplace of coffee and I think um, it is a fantastic great beautiful cup of coffee and and I was reading an article online about Jeremy Tooker being interviewed he recently purchased uh, De La Paz coffees and uh, mentioned I guess there was a notation in some other uh, online publication saying that well sour coffees I don't think that this roasting profile is sour coffee. I think it's quite different. I think it's getting beautiful notes and acid structure that is probably burnt away in the charred roasting profile or very dark roasting profile. In the lighter notes, I think you're getting a beautiful, exquisite cup of coffee that is markedly different. He does say in the interview, and I'll actually post that down below so you can read that, is that that a lighter roast coffee is not for everyone. And I understand, I, I agree, and uh, but I also think that this is a much more honest interpretation of what coffee is versus the charred profile and I think when you get a charred or darker profile you're getting to a coffee bean that is actually non-distinguishable from others. So here we go, scent characteristics first, flavor profile and then a point score. Beautiful notes of clovered honey, pear, cinnamon, white flowers and tea. So here we go, the flavor characteristics and then the point score. Mmm, the acids are really uh, identifiable, absolutely gorgeous. Notes of rose petal, commas pear, lemon preserve, uh, bourbon whiskey, cardamom, and tea. So bourbon whiskey, I think it's a great descriptor for this beautiful coffee here. This is a 9.3 out of a 10.0 scale for more reviews. And you can think of it as 93 points out of 100 points. Please give a like right here if you like the video. Again, more information will be listed down below, such as the interview and uh, Four Barrels website. And please subscribe to my channel right here. I'd appreciate that very much. I would also like to point out, when I was there visiting Four Barrel, which I do quite often, I live nearby, is I said, why aren't there videos about these great locations that uh, the coffees are being sourced from? And uh, the individual brew barista said, well, Jeremy, Jeremy Tooker does not believe in that. And it may not be in line with the uh, the brand overall, but I think it's really important. Something that, um, you know, if I see Jeremy, I would definitely ask him about that or suggest that. It doesn't need to be this, because this is what I do. And, but I think it's a fantastic house of coffee, something I really adore. And for more reviews, coffee, beer, uh, especially wine, please come to my wine channel here on YouTube. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, and Pinterest. Thank you so much, and salud.